everybody, it's Dawn and welcome back to First Light Creations. And today I'm going to show you how I made this little tea caddy. As it's coming up to, or in some cases it's already picnic season, well it is in the UK here, at the moment we're having some glorious weather. And so this is just a little tea caddy that you can pop your tea bags into, pop it into your picnic basket and then off you go. So it's very, very easy, so easy, even I can do it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. The only difference is when I first made this lid, I made it a half, I only made it a half an inch lip, but I'm not happy with that. So I've redesigned it and it's, it's a full inch. And I was going to just make a new lid and show you, but what I've decided to do is leave it like that and then show you what it looks like at the end with the comparison. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Whoops, that's why I wanted it to be bigger because it's going to fall off, which it, which it just done. So anyway, never mind about that. I am going to, oh, I forgot to get this scoring tool out. Never mind. We'll find one. There we go. So I've already done the scoring, but we need a 10 and a half by eight and a half sheet of card. This is a different card because I didn't have the same pattern to the other one, but it's from the same pack. And on the 10 and a half inch side, you're going to score at two and a half, five, seven and a half and ten. And then you're going to turn it round and on one side on the on the eight and a half you're going to score at two and a half all the way down like that. And that part will be your base eventually. So we're going to turn it back the other way and on the second one, second little panel in from the right, we are going to draw an arch which is about an inch, well I've actually measured this one, it's an inch from the score line, but we're not going to cut it out yet. We're just going to, I'm just going to use my pencil and we're going to draw an arch. I could have probably drawn a better arch than that, but never mind, it'll do. It doesn't have to be perfect. And the reason I drew that in first was because I have, just like I've done on the other one, I have die cut some little leaves, blue leaves. And I'm going to use my red runner tape. And yes, I think we'll do that first. And then I'll show you how we do. There's not much cutting to do, very little in fact. But we'll get this done first. And the reason I've marked that like that is so I know where I want to put my leaves. So I'm going to use my red runner tape because this will dry. It won't stay sticky forever. So you can put it on. You can use glue if you want to. I've decided to use tape because it's quicker and cleaner. So I'm just going to put it not right on top of that one, but just so that it sits just above it, because we'll be cutting that line shortly. And if we get that one in first, then we can align the others up next to it. So let's just get that done first. Well, it's actually easier to put these on while your piece of card is still flat. You can put it together first. In fact, that's how I did it when I made my sample one. I put it together first, but it's a lot easier to put this all together while it's still flat. So let's just very quickly get that done now. This is very, this is a new one, so it's very, very tricky. I knew my other one was running out because they, they always seem to run out when, once I get my hands on them. They don't last long. And so we're just going to very quickly stick those on. Let's just do the, this last one. I can't see the scores, but never mind. We'll put that there, there and there. And I'll show you what it all looks like with a very nice little picnic set at the end. So I'm just going to pop that to one side just for now. And then we're going to take our scissors because we do need to do a little bit of cutting. Let's make sure I've got the right scissors. Yes, I have. Now, this little one on the end, on the right hand side, there's a little half inch score line. And we just need to take that one off. So I'm just going to pop that up there and cut that off. Oh, that should have popped off, there we go. And all the other score lines, all you do is you find the score line and you just cut up to that first score line like that. So you just find the score line and cut up to it. And now the sun's come out, it's streaking onto my screen and I can't see through it, so I hope you can see more than I can. So there we go, that's all the cutting you're going to need to do. But then what we need to do, this is a double-sided just like the other one was, so that doesn't matter. So we're going to just fold 
just fold in our scores just a little bit. This will just this will help it to go together. So we're just going to fold over our scores like that. I'll just come round this way and do this one. And we'll just turn it round that way and fold up our flaps like that. Now the one thing I didn't get out, so hopefully I can find it easily. Oh, there we are. That's good. You will need, or it's a good idea to have, some construction glue. And I'm going to use some tacky glue. So we're going to use two types of glue. We're just going to use a little bit of tacky glue. And the tacky glue is to go onto the tab. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we can see first of all. Yeah, like that. We should be okay. So we're just going to put some tacky glue along there along this on the fold the tab over so that it's facing towards the inside and put your glue along there like that and then pop it out the way now what i'd suggest you do is put the thing flat like that and bring that over to meet it line it up and give it a good press and keep on pressing this won't take long to stick it's fairly fast sticking so that won't take long to stick so there we go, that's our glue flap. And then on the other side, you'll see the little arch in a minute. So we need to just open that out and make sure we've, we know, the next thing we need to do, we need to make sure we know where the front is. So that's our little line there. So I'm going to hold it so that the front's to me, so that I don't do the wrong thing, don't do this in the wrong order. This is where you're going to need your construction weight glue. Now you can use whatever you have. I'm using the Prit Craft glue. For two reasons. One, I like it, which is the main reason. And it does the job and it's quite easily available locally. I can get this in one of our local stores or shops. So I'm just going to put some on there. It does dry clear. It comes out like a gel, but it does dry clear. So I'm going to pop that down there. It won't dry straight away, but that's all right. And then we're going to put the back down, which is this one here. So I'm just going to put some more glue. We want this to be strong. That's why I'm using construction weight glue. And that will go down like that. Just stick it down. You don't have to taper the edges for this because we need this to stay flat. And then the last one is, this is the front. And putting the front down last will give you a nice front edge. It'll give you a nice edge to the front of your box. So we don't need that anymore. And we're just going to pop that down there. You can wipe off any extra glue that might have come up. And there you go, already you've got a nice little box. Okay, that's not quite in line. So that's one of the reasons you might want to do it the other way. But you can, if that's not quite right, if you think, oh dear, I don't like that. You can lift it, because it does take a while to dry, and just reposition it. That's no problem at all. In fact, we're going to do that right now. There. Problem solved. Now, the next thing you need to do is find yourself a pair of sharp pointed scissors because we're going to cut this little arch that we've made ourselves or we've drawn ourselves. We're going to cut that out. So we're just going to dig a hole through there. Just it might be it might have been easier actually to have started this off before we started putting us putting the thing together, but we'll get there. So we're just going to that's it like that. So we're, all we're going to do is follow our line around. And if you find that you've missed a bit when you're done, this is only a pencil line, you can just rub the thing out afterwards if you're that bothered about it, or if it shows too much. I'm not too bothered, but there we go. Now, that little lip that comes down, you can do one of two things. You can either leave it or you can chop the thing off, but I'm actually going to leave it. And you'll see why in a little while. So now what we need to do is we need to make our lid. So our sh what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to bring in the template because it's a dark blue and you won't see it. So I'll bring in my template and I'll show you what I mean. This is dark blue and I doubt very much that you can see the lines because it's so dark. So what I've done to make it easier for you, I've done the template on white. Now you'll need to draw a square that's two and a half inches squared. And then you need to make the flaps. So 
let's just make sure you can see. I've decided to make my flaps my, or my rim one inch rather than half an inch. So I'm just going to draw an inch up there like that on each side. And I'm going to join that up like that. I might even join it up properly. But this is only a template. Once you've got your template done, you could keep this if you wanted. And then all you do, these bits here are important because they're the tabs that hold the thing together, or they will be. So we're just going to do that. And we're going to hold that like that. Just take that up a little bit. And then once you've done all of that, what you need to do, you need to cut the whole thing out all from the outer square. Cut the whole thing out with your scissors, or you can use a craft knife if you want to. I've used scissors because that's what I've got. And when you've done that, it will look like that. And then all you do is you take your scissors again and you just cut up the tabs like that. So you just cut them like that, which of course I've already done. Now to make things go a little quicker, I'm going to use my red runner tape to put the, to put the lid together because it will dry and it will be instant and you don't have to wait for the thing to dry. So if we just, we're going to pop our tabs like that, in like that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to, we'll do one side first. We'll just put some runner tape on, give it a good coating, we don't want this coming off. And then what you do is you lift both sides up at the same time and you push it down so that that corner is flush. And then you do the same on the other side. Lift it up so that the corner is flush. And then of course, we're going to do exactly the same on the other two tabs. So I'm just going to pop some tape on there. Again, you can use glue if you want to. In fact, if I was doing this off camera, I probably would use glue, but tape is quicker. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Oh, that's just formed a little gate on the inside. That's fine. Pop that down there. Now, if like I have, you find that your measuring or your cutting hasn't been quite accurate, what you can do is just take some scissors like that and just cut it so that it's flush. Don't worry about it too much, just cut it. And I'm going to do that there and I'm going to do that there. And I'm just going to cut along that bit there just so that it's flush. And I'm not going to worry about it. If it's not dead straight, then it's not dead straight. So I will try and make that a little bit straighter, just in case it ends up at the front. And there we go, that'll do I think. And then all you do, you're nearly there really. All you need to do after that is over here on my other table beside me, I've got some tea bags. So if you're going on a picnic, once you've made your caddy, all you've got to do is put them in. Do make sure that they stay straight. But, so you might not want to take the whole bag. This is a big bag of about 80 tea bags. And if you're going on a picnic, unless you're taking half of your, fam your whole family with you and everyone in the neighbourhood, you probably won't want 80 tea bags. So you just pop them in like that. So you can fill it up if you want to. I probably won't for the time being. But put in as many as you think you're going to need for your day. So that'll probably do for now. I'll pop that back over there. Then all you need to do is, now this can be the tricky bit because it's a new lid, but you put the lid on and there is your tea caddy. Now, if you leave that flap, if I just hold that, if you leave the flap and don't cut it off, you can keep it as a type of shelf for your tea bag. So all you've got to do is pull one out. And then if you want another one, you pull another one out. So there we go. I'm just going to pop that there like that. So there we go. There we have our tea caddy. And so what we can do, just to finish off, so we'll, we'll pretend we're on our picnic. We're all going to have a picnic together. So what you do, you bring in your tea. Well, these are just napkins. So you bring your napkins in like that. You lay it out as if we're going to have a picnic. You lay it out like that. 
You bring me a mug. I haven't put a, I haven't put any tea in there because knowing me, I'll probably put it. It will go all over the place. Of course, no picnic would be complete without some some goodies to eat. You put your cup to the side. Let's just pop that out the way for a minute so that we can slide this lot over so that you can see. So there we go. Might need to come down a bit. There we go. Let's just move that over. So I'll just flip that over there like that. So if I just hold that up. So we've got our tea. We've got our cakes. And if, you, if you're like me, if you're common like me, once you've pulled your once you've poured your tea, you can dunk your cake or your biscuit into your tea. So there we go. There. Let me just pop that to one side for a sec. And the cup. So we'll just pop that out of the way. And um, there is our caddy. Oh, actually, there is one thing I didn't do that I could have done. And I'll do that now. If you want to be ultra fussy, you could make the top of your caddy coordinate with your napkins. So all I've done is I photocopied one of the napkins. And I cut off two little leaves and I cut off one little flower. So I'm just going to very quickly finish this off. I meant to do this earlier on. And I saw them sitting there and thought, oh, yes, I was going to add those. So all you do is you add your leaves wherever you want them. And then you pick up your flower, pop that down there like that. And there you have your the top of your lid now coordinates with your napkins and your mug. So there is our tea caddy and our pretty little mug. I'll turn it up. Oh, it's a new mug. I'll, I'll hold it down like that. So there we go. There's our tea caddy and our mug all ready for our picnic. And all you've got to do is load that up, put it in your picnic hamper and away you go. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it helpful and that you make some of these of your own. And of course, you don't just have to make them with just tea caddies. You could make a set of them and you could do a do exactly the same again but without this flap just leave it as it is and you could have one for coffee one for sugar or sweetener and you could make you could make a nice little set coordinate it with your kitchen and put it in your home so i do hope you have a go at this and find it helpful and if you're enjoying these videos please do give us a like hit that thumbs up add any comments or questions you'd like to in the comments down below and of course if you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and you'll never miss an upload and so I hope you've enjoyed this and that you have a go yourself. And if memory serves, when you come back on Monday, we've got one of our special painting projects. And I believe we're going to be painting a woodland scene. So I will see you on Monday. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have a fabulous time. And I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Have fun, everybody. And as always, take care and happy crafting. Bye bye for now.